At the end of the six o'clock news tonight, uh, we were sort of teeing up the fact that uh, Christina was going to get new weather updates through the evening about right. the chances of rain tomorrow. Of course, today was gorgeous, lower humidity, it was wonderful. hot, but no rain today. No, but we know that's not going to last. Of course, <laughs> it, the nice weather never does. Of course we know. It's the weekend. <laughs> just in time for the weekend, yes. But you know it's going to be nice again by Monday because that's just how we roll around here. Yes, we are going to have to dodge a couple of showers and thunderstorms as we head into both days this this weekend. I'll tell you the chances for rain, especially on Sunday, are backing off quite a bit. That being said, still think that we'll have a brief period of seeing a quick shower or thunderstorm. Unfortunately, for all of these wonderful events that we have going on both days this weekend, just want to be prepared. Keep that umbrella with you handy, but don't cancel your plans. Temperatures outside the next two days are also not going to be quite as hot as that 91 degree high that we saw this afternoon. So we'll take you into tomorrow morning where we could wake up to to potentially some rumbles of thunder, mainly in southern Indiana. Most of us likely to stay dry until the late part of the afternoon. We move along into uh, lunchtime, still staying dry across the board, and we'll just be very cloudy. It'll be kind of a gray start to the day and gray through the midday. That's whenever that line begins to approach us from the west, affecting our southern Indiana counties, probably after three o'clock, and then in the city right around dinner time, I'd say uh, five, six o'clock, and it just kind of becomes a little bit more scattered in nature by five o'clock tomorrow evening that continues to work its way out of here and then we'll just be left with a storm or two heading into the overnight hours. I really am not concerned about these storms becoming severe, but some of them could still pack a punch and bring some gusty wind, locally heavy rainfall and frequent lightning with it as it does push on through into Sunday morning. We go and we could even see some peaks of sunshine as we uh, see those numbers warm on up into those middle 80s. But you notice some of those storms on the future cast here on Sunday are very few and far between, so the coverage will be very limited with anything that we see on Sunday afternoon as opposed to what we're seeing on Saturday. I told you I'm not concerned with severe weather. I think this is going to be just one of the run of the mill sort of summertime thunderstorms that we see. We have a level one of five on the severe weather potential scale of seeing those storms become severe, so that is quite a low chance for us. In terms of just how much rainfall we could see, I'd say we could at least squeeze out about half an inch in most locations if you're lucky enough maybe going to get uh, a little bit over one inch of rainfall. Temperatures outside right now, it's still pretty warm. We're holding on to uh, the lower 80s from downtown over to the airport, mid 70s on the outskirts of town here. We have low 70s feeling pretty nice in southern Indiana, 73 in Bedford. We have 71 in Litchfield over to E-Town and down to Hodgenville. So we will be falling into the lower 70s tonight, tomorrow making it into the middle 80s. We do have hot days ahead as we enter into a drier pattern Monday into Tuesday, then another active pattern arrives for us by the mid to late part of the work week.